I have two boys and they really do love to go to school. Each and every day my children run out of my car and can't wait to get to the classroom. There is just a strong community feel. People seem really happy to be here, kids holding hands as they're walking from one place to another, linked arms. It's so pleasing as a parent to have your children want to go to school and actually love going to school. It's a community. It's a family. In kindergarten, they start project-based learning, and it's a very interdisciplinary style of learning. We just started hatching chickens in the classroom. Where we have seven eggs, we put them in an incubator, and we do graphing, and we show the different steps of the development of the embryo. The kids have actually seen the chicks coming out of the eggs, and then they're able to hold them and take care of them and feed them. We talk about the care they'll need, and they have them until they're pretty good size. <laughs> They learn in kindergarten without really realizing it. They are learning about science, literacy, they're doing art, math. They're doing everything at the same time and they're having so much fun doing it. Tell me why you think it's that particular creature. He comes home and he's really excited about what he's learned. When I ask him what he did during the day, he doesn't just tell me about lunch and recess, which is what I used to get. Now he tells me about what he's actually doing in the classroom. It has these little antennas. There's just a lot of excitement around all of the things that he's learning. As teachers, we're able to really focus in and get to know our students. Outside at recess, it's great. We're outside all the time. Um, and to kind of watch the kids in different activities and see how they interact with different groups of kids. We eat lunch with them every day, which is really nice to have that downtime with the kids. We also um, take a lot of time to talk about kids and really reflect on what we're seeing and their growth and their progress. The teachers know the students incredibly well. All of my children are different. Uh, different intellectual abilities, different learning styles, and the teachers really, really clue in to each and every one of them to try to make each of them the best they can be. They know right away when a kid is overwhelmed. They know probably before the parents know, and that's a really special bond that the teachers have with the children. We feel free to talk to them about anything. They give us advice. Your teachers are with you. Your peers are with you. You know you're never alone. The teachers will help you along with the process. They make sure that you have the information down and that you're understanding it. We really take care of each other. It does not feel that we're separated by these are the teachers, these are the families, these are the administrators. It feels like we're all really working toward the same goal in the end. There's a buddy system here. So, for instance, ninth graders are buddies with kindergartners. The older grades are always very nurturing to the younger grades, and the younger grades really look up to the children in the older grades. We meet up with them for lunch every now and then. We read stories to them. Recently, we went sledding with them. It's really fun. It's a beautiful relationship to see. My children always adored their buddies. The library is incredible. In fact, that was for us the big decision point of choosing foot. We walked into the library and were just blown away. This will be the first book that we're going to read. Library for kindergartners, they have it once a cycle. They read them a story and then they can go throughout the library and choose a book to take home. I just feel ownership and proud that they get to take this book home and then they're responsible for bringing it back and they can get another one. We couldn't believe the size of the library and and the librarians and how much they seem to know and want one to help other people um, get to know the library. The librarian knows every one of my sixth graders. When we go to choose out books of choice, she'll say, oh, this new book just came in. Why don't you try it, Johnny? Why don't you try this, Liz? It's a perfect one for you. She really knows okay. the kids well. What's on the bottom after sharks? He's on his way with a good boot in the Foot's drama program begins in kindergarten and continues right through ninth grade. During the process of putting on a play, and even more importantly, in the process of learning theater skills, students learn all of the life skills as well. You're learning how to speak publicly, and you're learning how to articulate speech, and how to kind of think on the spot. If it doesn't go straight, there's Everything they do has a creative aspect to it, and every project contributes to critical thinking and the way they approach every subject. The children are taught from the beginning that being out-of-the-box thinkers is just fine. 
If a student in my classroom shows curiosity in a topic, we have the flexibility in our schedules to be able to spend a little extra time on it. We're able to explore what our students are interested in, and not just in the classroom, but over the campus as a whole. I think the value of the school is really nurturing each child in their own way. Respect their development, respect their culture, respect their own personality. This is a horse near an Indian village. These costumes stand for friendship. This one is ocean people and this one is the ocean. It's very interactive, especially in our English and history classes. There's a lot of discussion. We'll be asking questions. There's a continuing dialogue between teachers and students. I have had three children that went to foot. They're certainly well prepared, they're ready to go academically, but I really think they have uh, the advantage of a different kind of attitude. They're open to learning, they're comfortable going to school, they like school. It has something to do with who they are and who they're going to be as learners for the rest of their life. We do believe in excellence in all aspects of a child's life, not just in the classroom, not just academics, but certainly um, how we treat each other, um, how we're stewards of the environment and that we are a neighbor in a larger community too. Foot itself is a culturally diverse community. My husband and I came from China, so every year we take our children for a trip to China to different places. Wherever we go, they make connections. They say, Mommy, look, this is the book we read from school, and I know this, I know that. My daughter's friends are all different ethnic backgrounds. They're all different religious backgrounds. It's a really nice group of kids and I don't think they know how diverse it is. What we're trying to do as a faculty is really help our kids become global citizens. To me, FOOT is just an enthusiasm for learning. The teachers just seem so engaged and really committed to what they're doing. And I'm just very thankful that my daughter has the opportunity to be here. And um, you know, I hope my next daughter um, is able to be here as well. <laughs>